Hello, welcome back. I uh, did some beast bats. I'll look at those in a moment. Uh, I also had the the death mage that we just recruited um, just search for sites, and he found an enchanted windmill, which is pretty cool. I think that's uh, one ur gem and some supply. So pretty funny. Uh, someone's dormant god woke up. A uh, crippled unit died, and we did get attacked in Honoria. So the wet ones. Let's see what are these troops like. Yeah, they're not very good. They've got like eight defense and <laughs> nine attack. Um, hmm, yeah, I think we can take these pretty easily. But they attack the province I didn't defend, of course. Ah, uh, yeah, so there's that. Uh, unexpected event in Batman. Uh, 580 people left. Of course they did. My only good province. Losing population. Why wouldn't it? Uh, and then there was an arena deathmatch. Apparently lots of people contributed something to this one, so... It would be rude not to watch. Uh, first up we have Therodos and Russ. Therodos has... <laughs> he has a, a... Commander that doesn't have any magic, but does have a ruby. Uh, which is a terrifying tactic. Versus... Oh, okay. Uh, Russ is god, it looks like. Cool. This is a son of Fenra. Has 1d6 yacht and wolves at his side at the start of each battle. This is a water 10, nature 7, blood 5 god. I assume that's quickness regen. Uh, pretty scary. So, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that Russ wins the <laughs> arena battle. Uh, let's just see what else people threw at him. Uh, Abyssia sent a diseased warlock into uh, Damn Good Coffee the Prophet. Oh, this is Sarah's prophet. Interest. So Sarah has a morale, shock weapons, shock resistance, fire resistance, and ethereality bless. God damn, some big blesses in this game. Uh, that's pretty crazy as well. well that, this is embarrassing. Why can't you hit this guy? What's... Oh, he's lucky. He's very lucky. Um, there was, so there was round two. Uh, round three looks like um, Ross, so yeah. We have a Yogini into... <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, next up we have Alm. Really, Alm? Really? You took Dagon off me and then just throw him into the arena, really? This really is rude. Oh, there goes Dagon. Uh, and finally we have Russ vs. Saro. Ooh, a low spawn. And uh, so Saro's prophet do something funny. Oh, it currently has three hit points. So, wait, how many hit points do you have? 183. Alright, well, good game. Uh, arena deathmatch result. Congratulations to Russ's god, basically. The champion's medal was awarded. Excellent. As price. Okay, as price. Uh, and then we lost our scout on Elm as well. Sorry, any scout as well. Um, some units here patrolling. Good to know, I suppose. Who are these nice blue fellows? Adventurers. Oh, okay. Uh, so there we are. So he attacked this province. Um, the plan was I moved stuff here to then attack it, but I forgot these guys need um, priests to bless them, which they don't have. And I'm pretty sure that unblessed units could easily <laughs> take out these guys. Um, but not if he like just dumps a huge amount of province defense here, which is my worry. So I'm just going to wait a turn, I'm going to move a priest over and the priest can bless them and then we'll move in next turn. Uh, and while that's happening, we're going to move stuff to Batman to defend it. So there's more Jags going there, plus a priest, uh, the mage carrying some um, um, Bone Tribe Beast Hunters and a couple of Fire Imps as well, because these guys actually have a ranged attack, so they might do something as well. Uh, and there's already 15 points of province defense here. So yeah. I don't suspect we'll have too many problems if they attack. But yeah, I'm just going to hold tight for one turn and then we'll move in. Uh, this is fine though, because if he attacks us and dies, then this army is already here and can just attack the cave next turn anyway, so it's fine. Uh, other than that down here, I'm taking a bit of a risk, I suppose, in just attacking this throne without actually scouting it. Um, I'm just hoping that we have enough stuff here that we can just easily blow it away, because it looks like a small throne. Uh, militias, heavy infantries, and archers. Um, fingers crossed. Uh, we're all arranged like this, we just got the lizards in front on a line, jags behind my commanders on a line, and then a group of commanders, a group of jags on the sides, some uh, just regular little guys on the sides, and uh, nothing fancy because we can't really do anything fancy, so 
Divine Blessing, Road of Thorns, and Walk Forwards. See how we go. Uh, I think we should take it, and then we can take this quite safely as well afterwards. And that's fine. Uh, we also recruited some Beast Bats this turn. You know, that reminds me actually, I should probably have these guys on hold and attack Rhea, because... Oh, then again, they're not going to attack here, are they? Well, if they did, it would be good, because it would just... Um, it would just kill the <laughs> commander, I think. They'd just fly straight onto him. Um, that would be fine. So yeah, there's the Beast Bats, though. They're not bad, I don't think, with the Regen Bust, because they've got 19 hit points and decent defense. The only problem is they only have 4 protection, so they'll take a lot of damage if they do get hit. Uh, 26 map move, quite nice. What's my flying commander's map move? Where are you? Uh, is that a base of 16? Oh, that's a shame. I don't have anything that could really take advantage of that map move, I don't think. But I'm sure it'll be useful. Uh, gonna need something that can lead demons lead these guys, which I mean, generally, that's my blood mages, but yeah. Uh, and that's it for this turn. Still don't have any gold, I can't put up another temple yet, but we are back to blood sacrificing in Shadow Glade and Miklan. We've actually got Positive Dominion in Sewer Outlet now, which is pretty good. I can see a Ross army over here about to take this throne. Well, hopefully about to take this throne and not about to attack me, because that Bless looks absolutely terrifying. Uh, but there we are. That's it for turn 13, thanks for watching. See you next time. Hello, welcome back. A uh, throne was claimed, the throne of life. It's quite nice, it makes everyone younger. Uh, I'm not sure we really need that, but it's cool anyway. I uh, did another cast of summon animals, bought 13 blood slaves, and uh, yeah, two battles. First up, I blindly attacked a throne. Uh, you should probably never do this. We do have very good units though. So a couple of mages, uh, one of them is pretty powerful. As a sorcerer who is D3. And he's in a communion with two slaves. Uh, that's nice for him. So, uh, magic boost one. So, walk forwards. The lizard's mostly in front. Kind of spread out in this weird way. And these guys are on the arches. Militias are going to die pretty quickly. Heavy infantry too. And if I was smart, I would have had my mages on advance and cast spells instead of cast spells. Because this guy can summon a lot of skeletons. Uh, fortunately, of course, we have the regen bless, so... A few pokes from skeletons here or there. Doesn't really bother us too much. My Prophet, at least, is in range for Banish, it looks like. This is a lot of skeletons, though. Uh, the mage then starts trying to life drain my, um... And then he does that. <laughs> he does a big Shadow Blast and then just gets vaporized by the uh, reflected damage. That's a lot of damage. Doesn't quite kill anyone, though. So, that probably could have gone worse. As it stands, though, uh, we lost some warriors, the lizards, uh, one of the standards, and two jags, that's it. And they got 114 kills, most of which were skeletons, I think. Uh, you can place your bets now on what throne it is that you think we got. Meanwhile, on through some units into Batman. So we assembled a collection of things here. In province defense. There's a D1 mage doing Frighten, some Fiery Imps doing some Fireflies, and then the Jags. It doesn't take much to fight those guys off. That's the end of that. Uh, lost nothing. Pretty good. Uh, and did some patrolling. Yeah, the throne. Uh, what do you think? Usually, first throne I find would be Misfortune or something. Uh, this time, very pleased with this one, we got the Inner Throne. Um, our Dominion gets a bonus point of order, we get three Blood Slaves for turn, and an Earth Gem on top. It's hard to think of a better throne for us. Um, I guess there are a couple. What else is in this game? Yeah, I, I don't know. Inner Throne, what's the Outer Throne like? Oh, Magic. That'd be quite nice as well, wouldn't it? 
Uh, yeah, I'm very happy with that. That's that's a great throw into the farm first. So um, we're going to sit here and return. I'm going to search it and I'm going to claim it immediately. Uh, I would very much like the blood slave income. And the bonus order is just cherry on top. Um, so that's great. Uh, over here we've stopped the wet ones pushing in. So um, these guys are just going to take an Oreo back now. That's fine. Just these guys, they'll get blessed up. There's a few deer tribe in there. I stopped recruiting those, yeah. I do like recruiting just random junk everywhere, don't I? Um, yeah, as long as there's no PD here, I'm sure we'll take that, no problems. And even if there is a bit of PD here, I'm sure we probably take that, no problems. Uh, stuff in Batman's going to wait a turn. I'll attack the cave next. There are some other things just moving out, though. There isn't really that much here. I am a bit scared of the cave. Maybe I shouldn't be. But it's always a bit worrying when you see like weird units like this. Fiends of Darkness. I don't know, this might go badly. Um, but we're also moving some other stuff to Shadow Globe this turn as well. Uh, there's more animals coming to do some patrolling in this province. Um, the D1 Mages can lead a bunch of imps though to patrol as well, which would probably be quite good. Uh, moving over a B2 Mage to start blood hunting this province as well. Um, so we'll have the six Jags here. I guess we can send the demons, it probably won't. I'll send just the priests in, these six Jags. Um, the, what, nine Jags that are here. And they can all attack this province with all the priests. And then that should go fine. And uh, not really recruiting much this turn. Uh, we are so pressed on income, it's hard to like put up infrastructure. But um, I'm putting up the lab in Batman this turn. The Palisades is finished in two months, so we'll try recruiting mages out of there as soon as we can. And uh, that's pretty much everything. We now have three Bloodhunters in Swinland. Um, there is a bit of unrest here, so I might summon some more stuff to patrol. I'm not sure though. Could just do more animals, I suppose. Feels like a bit of a waste to keep dumping nature gems into that, but... I mean, it's a lot of patrollers though. I should probably work out if it's efficient or not for patrol strength. Um, at least it costs no upkeep, that's quite nice. Um, so once we've done this, I guess we'll push in, but... Yeah, I really need to get this defended next. Needs um needs a fort and stuff, that's for sure. Uh, but that's it for this turn. And how many provinces are we on currently? 17. And the income column is just depressing. <laughs> 3, 2, 17, 17, 9. Ugh. Yeah. We are just never gonna be wealthy, I don't think. Um, but at least we've got a lot of blood slaves. Um, that was time 14, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hello, welcome back. Uh, we claimed the Inner Throne, which was fantastic. Search for sites, found two, and caught, um, how many slaves? 13. Not a great number, is it, for three sl for three blood hunters? Uh, maybe we do need the Sanguine Dowsing Rods. Had a battle in Honoria, but there was nothing there, so we just took that back, that's fine. And then two events. Um, before we get to the events, though, I'll just check this out. So we've got the Inner Throne. Generating some blood slaves for us. Uh, we also found a forgotten village, which is another blood slave. Um, so now we just have a natural plus seven blood slave income, which is pretty cool. And then there's also an enchanted well here for a water gem, just on top of that. And then events, great event in Evergreen. We got a temple of the ancestors has been found and restored to splendor, giving us a temple and a magic site. Um, so in Evergreen Forest, there was already a wild forest here giving us a nature gem. We now have a free temple. And we have a jungle temple, which is two nature gems, an earth gem, and a nature mage can enter into summer Alimia, uh, which is pretty cool. We now have four nature gems per turn as well. Um, so we can easily summon animals and stuff, I suppose. Um, the only nature mages I have currently are my priest kings, and I don't really want to commit one of these guys just to entering Alimia site, but uh, the fort in Batman will be finished soon, and we can recruit uh, uh, one of these guys, Nahawali. One of those guys can sit here and summon Lamias, why not? They're pretty good units. Um, worldwide event evocation rituals are cheaper. We don't have any of those we can do, and um, we did some patrolling in Swinland. It's not quite zero unrest anymore, but uh, yeah. So we took Honoria. Um, the Jags here are going to move to Swinland now, and the random deer tribe stuff is going to sit in Batman. Fort and Batman will be finished this turn. Uh, I'm moving uh, a new Miklan Priest over to Batman to put up a temple next turn. And we'll start blood sacking there as well. Uh, and then I'm going to attack the cave as well. 
might be a bit greedy because I, sh I should probably be moving units this way because we can see a, an arm stack now. And it's only a 24 income province. But I always worry about leaving border provinces just neutral like this. Because I've already, you know, I've already asked this guy to have this, you know, by diplomacy. Because I let him have this in exchange for this. And I always worry it just looks weak if you say you want a province and then you just leave it untaken for ages. Because it, it just makes it look like, oh, you can't even marshal enough strength to take a stupid independent province. Um, so I'm going to take it just to represent, you know, strength in this region. Um, we don't have a lot of stuff. We, we've got a few jags and things like that. It's just, it, it's worrying because there's, you know, interesting units like Fiends of Darkness. My big worry is just that Fiends of Darkness are going to fly onto my mages and kill them. You know, just a really unlucky kind of first turn when I just lose a Rain Priest or something. Um, I think we'll take the province okay. It's just, yeah, it just looks scary. Maybe it'll be fine. I don't know. Um, we've got the Jags there. They're on hold and attack flyers. They're just um, around my mages and Bone Tribe dudes as well. Um, we've got all the imps that can fly are just at the back here. Um, speaking of which, oh yeah, the, the shooting ones are as well. They should just be on fire, actually. Um, all the imps that can fly are just at the back because this is a JBBM game, so the um, Banish does actually work on demons. So I don't want my demons getting banished by my own uh, banish. So they're just at the back and they'll be on attack rear. So if we're lucky, they'll just fly onto a commander and uh, kill them for us. That'd be pretty good. Uh, all the priests are doing banishes, basically. Death Mage is doing dust to dusts. Um, so we've got plenty of tools to deal with undead and demons. I just hope we don't take um, an unlucky mage loss. That would be unfortunate. Nothing too special other than that. It is a lot of sacred, so I'm sure it'll be fine. It's just, um, yeah, just shades and stuff. It's kind of scary. Uh, but we'll try and take it, and then we'll just start moving all those units down. Uh, Swindon, we're building up some force now. We've got a couple of jags coming. Uh, we've got six blood bats already here. Not blood bats, beast bats already here. I'm doing two more summons of beast bats, and I'm doing a summon jaguar toads as well. So we'll have 12 bats. We'll have, um, what's this, 9, 10, 11 jags. Some toads, uh, they can help pushing this way. Because uh, yeah, we're going to have to defend against this stack at some point. can move to, I guess, three places at this point. I can attack this province, this province, or defend here. Uh, I'm just going to dodge it at the moment. I think this army is going to have to just defend this throne area for now. So it's just going to take Greenwoods. And then if this moves on towards here, I'll just move into Spies of Ascension next. If it moves to Elder Hill, then I'll have to move back and defend the throne. But uh, yeah, this is just going to prioritize holding down this region for now. And um, whatever provinces this army takes, we'll just take another province to make up for it of him. That's just the goal. Um, and if he presses on, we'll just continue building up force in Swindon. This is our bulwark, so we've got stuff here. The stuff that does the cave can move back. Um, we'll get more jags out this turn. We'll do summons each turn if we can. We can certainly do ja uh, jaguar toads each turn if we need it. But it'd be better to have him blood hunting, I think. And uh, that's it for this turn, I think. Uh, we don't have a scout anymore, which is a bit unfortunate. We can't recruit one either. Yeah, nothing else happening. Um, oh, there is something happening. There's mercenaries, that's right. So there's a few mercenary companies in the list that just, they weren't bid on last turn, so they have like slightly lower than normal bids. So I've just started bidding on them. Um, there's a new mage, Maymore the White Wizard. I've recruited him in Shadowglade. It would be nice if we had a lab outside of our Dominion. Um, although it looks like there's drain everywhere, so maybe it wouldn't matter. Um, maybe a lab uh, over here in this um, magic Dominion. We wouldn't get the magic, but it, it wouldn't be drain. Uh, but yeah, we're, we'll try and get Maymo here at least to do some research. And then I also put a bid on Dante Stingers in Province 17, which is my throne to help defend this region. Uh, and that's it for this turn. So that's turn 15. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.